Hello friends, in this problem we have to solve an equation and we have to find the value of x. So the problem is we have been given that is x square plus x square divided by x plus 1 whole square this is equals to 3. Then what is the value of x that satisfies this equation? How will you solve this problem? So let us multiply by x plus 1 whole square to both sides. So what you will have? We will have x square times x plus 1 whole square and this is x square divided by x plus 1 whole square and this multiplied by x plus 1 whole square and this is 3 times x plus 1 whole square. So this cancels out, this term and this term cancels out. So you will have x square and this is x plus 1 whole square and this is x square and this is 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now in this case you see x square and here also we have x square. So what we can do is we can take x square common. So you will have x square and this becomes x plus 1 whole square and this is plus 1 and this is equals to 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now let us expand this term that is the term inside this bracket. So you can use the formula that is a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So if I use that formula this becomes x square and this will be x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 and this is 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now see this is x square and this will be x square plus 2x plus 2 and this is equal to 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now here I will use a trick you see this side you have a term x plus 1 so now we are going to use a trick what we will do is we have two terms and in the both term we will introduce x plus 1. So in the first term what I will do I will write x square and I will add x plus 1 and I will subtract x plus 1. So this is my first term and the second term can be written as x square plus x plus x plus 1 plus 1. So what I have done is I have written 2x as x plus x and 2 as 1 plus 1 and why I am doing this you will soon see. Now this term becomes this is basically x square plus x plus 1 so now I can take all this together and then minus x plus 1 so this is my first term. And the second term will be x square plus x plus 1. So I have taken these terms. So this is x square x plus 1. So what is left? So you have x plus 1 that is left. So this is my second term and this is 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now you can understand why I have taken this x plus 1 thing. You see x square plus x plus 1 minus x plus 1 and here we have x square plus x plus 1 plus x plus 1. So this is something like a plus b into a minus b and if you remember the formula that is a minus b into a plus b this is nothing but a square minus b square. So let us apply that formula so we will have x square plus x plus 1 whole square minus x plus 1 whole square and let's take this term to the left hand side. So this becomes minus 3 times x plus 1 whole square this is equals to 0. So this becomes x square plus x plus 1 and this is 3 and 1 so this becomes 4. So I can write this as minus 4 times x plus 1 whole square and this is a square 
Now see, you can further rewrite x square plus x plus 1 whole square. And this minus, so I can write 2 times x plus 1 whole square is equals to 0. Now once again you have something like a square minus b square. So you can write a plus b into a minus b. So you will have x square plus x plus 1 that is a plus b that is 2 times x plus 1. So this is a plus b and the next term we will have a minus b. So this minus 2 times x plus 1 and this is equals to 0. Now let us expand this. So what you will have? You will have x square plus x plus 1 plus 2x and plus 2 and this multiplied by x square plus x plus 1 and this is minus 2x minus 2 is equals to 0. So if you simplify what you will have, you will have x square and this x and this 2x is 3x. So x square plus 3x plus 3 multiplied by x square minus x minus 1 this is equals to 0. Now you have two quadratic equation. This is one quadratic equation and this is another quadratic equation. So basically there are two possibility. Either this term is equals to 0 or this term is equals to 0. So in both cases you can find the solution because this is a quadratic equation. So in the first case you will have x square plus 3x plus 3 is equals to 0. So in this case a is equals to 1 b is equals to 3 and c is equals to 3. So solution will be minus b plus minus b square that is 9 minus 4 times 3 into 1 divided by 2a. So in this case you see this is an imaginary root. So you will have minus 3 plus minus this is a square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So this case will give you imaginary solution. So imaginary roots. Now the second case you will have that is x square minus x minus 1 is equals to 0. In this case a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to minus 1. So solution will be minus b so minus minus plus plus minus b square that is 1 minus 4ac that becomes plus 4 and this divided by 2. So you will have plus 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2 and these two roots are real. So there are four value of x that is possible. Two are imaginary and two are real. So if I am only concerned with real roots then I have to consider these two solutions. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.